Do you have jaw pain and no idea where it's coming from? Then I have three possible reasons for it and three Liebscher and Bracht exercises that can help you get it under control. We'll start with number one. Reason number one, we at Liebscher and Bracht actually believe to be the cause, at least for most cases, of jaw complaints. The fact that the mouth is not opened enough. We eat too few things that require us to open our mouths wide. Therefore, some people already have problems biting a large apple nowadays. Dentists tell me that their patients are finding it increasingly difficult to keep up during treatment, to keep their mouths open for a long time, because it is causing more and more problems in recent years. Yes, and this results in other consequences, for example, stress and tension also lead to everything becoming a bit more painful if the tension is already too high, because we do not open our mouths wide enough. And if stress is added, it increases the tension even more. Then you end up with jaw pain. And the third factor is then the teeth grinding. A lot, a lot of people are grind their teeth. Many people have a night guard, which does not prevent teeth grinding, but prevents abrasion because something soft is placed in between. These are all things that we actually want to eliminate. And how we do that now? The most direct exercise for this problem is simply to open the mouth. And Rene shows you how. You practically take the thumb like this and move the chin into this angle and open the mouth wider and wider. Get started right away. Get started right away. When you notice that the head is being pulled too far forward, you take control of the head with the other hand so that it cannot go down. And it's best to tilt your head back a little bit so that the saliva doesn't run out. Or you could practice in the shower or over the sink. And then you keep opening up more and more. And then you notice there is stretching tension everywhere here. Everywhere here in this area. And then you wait again as always during the exercises, until it subsides a bit. Open up a little more, but you always stay within the range that is still bearable. Smiling is now naturally difficult. You can smile with your eyes, because that also activates the brain. Breathe beautifully. Keep opening further as far as it goes. And then we start with the strength training, okay? But be careful. Only close or apply just enough force to close your jaw so that you do not move. Because the jaw muscles are very strong. And if you try to close it properly, you won't be able to hold it with your hand. So only try as much as you can really hold, so that despite the effort, not even a bit of the mouth is closed. So all the muscles and fascia remain long during this strength training and relax again. Open a little further. Yes. And maybe once more. You are trying to close. Get started right away. You are trying to close. Relax again. And continue a little further. And now at the end, let go and actively hold your mouth open again. And pull even more. And even more. Even more. Larger. 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 Not smaller. Larger larger, and slowly relax again. That hits the spot, right? Now I have a really big mouth. Okay, very well said. And now we will do a second exercise. Now we move the mandible to one side and then to the other. So open gently and pull the lower jaw to the left. Pull to the left correctly, yes. And normally it pulls and stretches on the right side. Sometimes you also notice it on the left side. It all depends on which muscles are shortened and how. Keep pulling further. Occasionally check the nose to ensure that the head does not turn with it, as that would avoid stretching. The head must be held forward. And if you notice that you don't have enough strength to pull the jaw to the left, then press with the other hand additionally and help with it. Breathe deeply. Breathe in deeply, breathe out deeply, and keep pulling it further over. And now try to pull your lower jaw to the right, but hold it firmly. Hold it tight. Remember, this is our strength training. Hold it tight, let go, and pull it further to the left. Was there still something going on? 
I didn't see it exactly, but there are also very small changes in that area. And therefore, it may well be that one does not see it. But you may feel whether there is still something left. And again, you press with the lower jaw to the left. Press correctly to the left. Press firmly to the left. And relax and pull a little more to the left. Pull a little more to the left. Yes. And now you let go and actively pull to the left again. Actively. This is a bit difficult to do. Pull even more, pull even more and relax again. That hits the spot, right? Wow, we need to balance that out, right? Yes, of course. Now the other side. Oh, great. Directly to the other side. Pull the lower jaw to the right. Open your mouth slightly and pull to the right. I don't have to open so wide, right? No, just a little bit so that the teeth have space to move past each other. Keep pulling further to the right. Always increase a little with each exhale. Breathe in deeply, breathe out deeply. And here you can start pulling the lower jaw to the left. Oh, hurts more than the other side. Okay, so just feel in, okay? And if it hurts more on that side, this could mean that you need to practice that side more intensively until you notice that it is balanced and the stretching sensation is approximately the same on the right and left side. Again? Yes, you can start now. Pull to the left now, but hold tight. Relax again, move further to the right. Relax. And go a little further into the stretch. Last time now, right? So you wish. Yes, yes, it's the last time. And pull to the left. Pull to the left. Pull more to the left and a little more and a little more. You're joining in, right? And relax again just a bit more. And release again, then actively pull. Heavy, right? All this movement. Experiment. Attempt, attempt, attempt. And back to normal. Go for it, right? Feel how it really feels. This is like a new palette that I have now. A new set of teeth here. Right? It's always crazy how quickly these exercises show how you can feel different, lighter, more flexible, and so on. Third exercise, I had promised three exercises. Now we are going to do something very special. Namely, you go back into this position here and pull the mandible back and press it back with your hand. Ah, yes, into the larynx. Yes. Correctly back into the larynx, must also be slightly open and then actively pull back. What does that mean? So. Oh. Upside down, upside down. Yes. Now you push it forward. Back. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, back. You may need to have someone observe you at home, because if you are not used to it, sometimes you push your jaw forward and think you are pulling it back. Quite peculiar, because the body cannot really grasp that yet. Beautifully back, further and further back. The back and neck also play a part because there are muscles in here. If they shorten, they pull the lower jaw out of the joint and the exercise stretches those muscles that pull it out so it stays more in the joint. In our view, it has less reason to dislocate. And come out slowly and move a little. Very, very important. Please give a like if you enjoyed the exercise, if you noticed a difference. Write a comment and tell everyone about it. Because so many people have problems with their jaw. So you can only do good by spreading this, really.
Share the video, explain the exercise to people, do it together with them. People must learn what they can do for themselves to get rid of their pain and tension in the jaw area. And now there is something very special. The special thing is the lazy man or lazy woman exercise, which consists on taking our jaw hero between the teeth and then letting time work for you without having to practice. What I mean to say is, you can do it on the side, it doesn't take any extra time, and the jaw saver can be adjusted every two millimeters. And that's incredibly motivating for me. It totally motivates me to be able to take on a bigger challenge time and again. As long as you don't have a jaw saver yet, information is available there. You can also take a wine cork from a wine bottle and cut it every day so that it gradually stretches a little more. If you want to make a few more videos, no, a few exercises I meant to say, a few exercises to help against teeth grinding, then please click here. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then it's high time to click there and also activate the bell so you don't miss any videos with the crazy guy here with the thing in his mouth. Goodbye until next time.